Fly kick's very important, particularly in a 25-yard pool. We do a lot of repeats where the first 25 is underwater fly kick, and or the last 25, whether it's a 50 or a 100 or a 150. And we put them underwater just to teach them to control their breath. For younger age groups, you can have them come up halfway off the wall. The fly kick is very important. And for some people, it's a little more difficult on the stomach than on the back. Six seconds vertical fly kick. Hands on your shoulders. Because the vertical fly kick is where you get the frequency or speed of kick. From the side, you can see it better. See, there's not a whole lot of knee bend. This is a drill we use to strengthen the abdominals and the quadriceps. Kick five to eight off the wall, streamlined position. Pull the hands to the sides and do the fly kick. The hands at the sides allow for easier body undulation. It's much better for beginners, a great way to start start the kick. It's always more difficult when you lock your hands over your head and streamline it. That is where they need to get eventually. When we kick with a board fly kick, sometimes we kick easier than others. But when we kick 25s and 50s, we expect it to be very, very fast, very, very high kick rate. You can see the hips where they move. You can see how fast the feet are moving. And I believe this is a very important aid in improving the fly kick. If I were to try to get Rayner to do that a little bit better, I wouldn't let him bend his knees quite as much, try to make a shorter kick. He wouldn't feel his feet on the water as much, but that means he's more streamlined and kicking more in the right place. Usually if they feel their feet on the water, they're kicking too big.